So today I'm going to be talking about 10 different ways to make money as a teen because I sure as heck know that being a teen it's really hard to like make money because for one thing not a lot of places are going to let you um, work there because they like maybe you have to be over 16 or over 14 or over 18 you know like there's just so many different things you know we're lazy we like to stay home sometimes there are ways to earn money while at home or just doing simple things so I'm going to be talking about 10 different things and let's just get started. My first tip is to sell your stuff on eBay or take it to a place like Plato's Closet. Let's say um, you have a camera that you just don't want anymore but it's in good condition and you would like to earn some money for it, that's definitely a place to go on eBay. It's so, so easy. I actually I had an old camera that I didn't like as much and I sold it so I can get this camera I'm using right now. I, it was so easy to list it on eBay. Within an hour someone bought it. I don't know if it's just luck, like beginner's luck or something, but within the first hour someone bought it from me so I was really lucky there. And there's places like Plato's Closet and I know there's a few other names where you can take your um, gently used clothing to them and they'll go through it and the things that they want to keep for their store they'll pay you money for it. There are certainly places that will do that and I've earned like $70 from taking my clothes to places like that. The second way you can earn money is a website called opinionoutpost.com. I've talked about them before and I'm going to talk about them again. Basically Opinion Outpost is a way that you can be at home literally in your bed making money. All you gotta do is sign up, answer a few questions and stuff and Basically, you're being paid to take online surveys, and I mean, that's so awesome. Just hang on your computer, answer some questions for some companies or people or whatever, and you get money. You can either get cash, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, so many different things. And it's actually free to join, which is awesome. It's like, because then you would be paying to make money, and that's kind of weird. And um, also, this happened to me when I first signed up. Sometimes when Opinion Output sends you emails, um, especially on Gmail, like you're not going to, it doesn't always show up in the inbox, so go to the the little tab that says promotions and click on that and it will show you like their emails. And you're probably wondering, okay Danielle, like yeah this sounds really cool but why would companies pay to take a survey? They want honest people's opinions on food, TV shows, all kind of things. So they just want opinions from all different types of people so when they put it online and they can just pay people. There's actually a drawing for $10,000 right now so every time that you would take an online survey, you'd be put into an entry for that, and I mean, I want $10,000 if I'm going to do that. And one last thing, you need to be either 18 or older or have your parents' permission to sign up, so make sure to be like, yo mama, yo dada, I want to make some money so I can buy a new shirt. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Ay, ay. The third way to make money is street performing. I mean, I know you guys are probably like, what? But literally, like, there, when I go to the beach, there's always people like, playing guitar. If you just go out there, if you just know a chord to a song, you can even sing along if you like, and just put out your little guitar case. People throw money all the time. They think it's fun to like be by the beach or be in the be in the town and someone's playing music for them. I mean, don't creep them out and be like, yo, yo, give me some money. But like, just play and enjoy yourself and people will respond to that and maybe give you some money for that. Number four is start an Etsy shop. I know numerous people that have a crafty side to them, me not included. I, I, I like love crafts, but I just, I'm just not like... Like, I just can't. Like, it's really hard for me. But if you love making hair bows or monogramming things or have your own, like, little things you like to make, totally make an Etsy shop. If you have an Etsy shop, comment down below and I totally want to check it out. I love supporting Etsy shops. Number five is the way I make my money mostly, and that's YouTube. Um, I make money from YouTube. That's my biggest income. You can get, once you put videos on YouTube, you can get them monetized and get um, money from that. It's just... You can't, if you don't have a ton of views, you can't get like a lot, a lot of money for it because it's just like going to be like some cents or something, but as your YouTube channel will grow, you will get more money for it, and they usually pay out monthly, so I think that's really cool and it's a great way to earn money. Number six is if you love them furry friends, I suggest you walk dogs. I know I have neighbors with dogs, and they're always looking for people that would walk their dogs for them because sometimes they just want to relax. Like, I think that'd be such a good way to earn money and have fun because I love dogs. Walking with dogs, just hanging out, getting some sun, you know, that'd be fun. Number seven is babysit. I know this is kind of obvious, but I wanted to mention it because I, I've babysit a couple times and it's just really hard to like work with people's schedules for me because I have like a lot of other things. But if I had a more open schedule, I would do babysitting even more because I think it's really fun. I love hanging out with kids. I suggest going to your local like community center or rec center or whatever you call them and they usually have some sort of babysitting 
certification courses like monthly or half yearly or something and I did it and I got certified and it was just like one day and it was really fun so um, I suggest you doing that because then it's more like impressive for the family if you're like saying hey and then you just figure out with your parents like what do you think should be your hourly rate. Number eight is do a garage sale with your family or a neighborhood garage sale. Garage sales are really really fun. Um, you just like I love going to garage sales because you find the coolest things but you can just you know, if there's stuff that you just don't want, like knickknacks or fun little things, you never know. You might think like, oh, this little dish no one's going to want. Someone has been really looking for that dish. Number nine is an app called Gigwalk, and I just found out about it, so I'm kind of new to it, but I want to tell you guys about it. It's a free app, and basically you get paid to like take pictures of like a restaurant's menu or like... I don't know, like, it's just, you get paid based on where your location is. You live in Los Angeles, California, and they want an updated menu of lemonade. And so they'll say, okay, can you go there and take a picture and just upload it to the app and you get money for it. Or, I remember one time I was like, find the latitude and longitude of Michael's Craft Store. Just stuff like that. It's just totally random, but you get money for it. So I think that's really cool if you're bored and just go around town. And number 10 is sell your video game accounts on eBay. I've seen lots of people do this. I don't really play video games, but I've heard my brother talking about this. Maybe after a while you get tired of your video games, but you have all these like coins and star powers and I don't know, all that stuff. Ammo and stuff on Call of Duty. I, I don't know how it works. But I guess there are ways to sell it on eBay. I actually just saw that one online, but I thought I had to tell you guys about it. So you guys could look more into that, but I think that'd be super cool for people that just have like a ton of money on their accounts and everything, not real money and then you could sell it because there's people like just wanting those bonuses. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's so many other ways to earn money. I think it's really important to know how to manage money when you're a teen so then when you're older it's like I got this, like I save money, I, uh, I don't know. Save money, live better Walmart. See you guys next Saturday for my next video. Bye!